channel. We're gonna be filming a There is such thing as Mexican sweet bread. Everything is just good. When I was younger, my parents would always come home with like sweet bread and cookies. My favorite thing, my little fat ass loved. Coconut in it. It's so soft in the inside. All this shit. Bomb as fuck. Hold on. I'm not gonna lie, it's been so long since I've had um any like sweet bread. Actually, let's get to the story. It was 2015, was my 14th birthday. So on my birthday, my mom took me out for my account and let me drive the car for the very first time. Then piggies, because like look, they're shaped like you can't really tell now because I fucking took a bite out of it. Still smack. And driving was just, you know, it was just so fun. I just felt so in control. I'm not gonna lie, I got, and I'm, I got a little cocky with it. I'm not gonna lie, I really did think that I was the one. I was like, you know what? Like, we're gonna be trying. She's a little smashed. We, oh, you know what? I think this is oatmeal. That's bomb, y'all. Let's go. So yeah, I just thought I was the one. So basically, my mom kept her keys at the front door. I was finna scheme out sneaking out. We were cray cray, we just wanted to get out. This, I'm pretty sure that there is pumpkin. No, this is cinnamon. It's, which is not my favorite. It's just too soft in the middle. And there's too much like of this filling. It makes me feel uncomfortable. We thought of this crazy ass idea. I snuck into my mom and dad's room and I stole the keys. We went and we picked Danny up. Let's get gang. We didn't, we didn't have any eggs, so we drove to Walmart and we got some eggs. And of course, you know I had to pack my little my little purse. I had a knife in it. I had eggs in it. I had toilet paper. In it. I had everything we needed to fuck some shit up. Now remember, y'all, it was two o'clock in the morning. That was like the only time of day that we could feel free enough to express the things that we truly wanted to do. Fuckery shit. We went. We got our eggs. Drove to the hood. So basically, we got to the first bitch's house. We kind of parked off to the side. Benzo was gonna be our driver. Me and Danny got out of the car. And bitch, we ran up on that house. We started throwing eggs everywhere, y'all. We were hitting them cars, bitch. We were hitting like windows. We were hitting everything, bitch. Soaking in eggs. Soaking in eggs, bitch. Soaking! These are good, but they've never really been like my favorite. We went around the corner. I was the getaway driver. Benzo and Danny both got out of the car. Oh, so they came sprinting back to the car. They came back and they were like, that hole popped. We gotta go. It was too loud. Like, we gotta go. I had to. We went to Danny's ex girl's house. So we decided that we were just gonna toilet paper the house. So we got out of the car and we just started throwing toilet paper all over that bitch's house. Skirt, skirt, the fuck out of there. We were just driving so fucking ghetto, y'all. So I ran up a curb. And it was bad. We were dumb. We were so fucking. We were so young. I swear to God, I will never, ever, ever in a million fucking years go elementary school late at night just to chill. And you shouldn't either because there are always cops. And it being two in the morning, we were all off of curfew and we were parked at an elementary school. So at this point, just chilling in the car. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, y'all, of course, fucking cop out of all things all fucking things that could have gone wrong that night a fucking cop like we could have been caught egging someone's house we could have been caught slashing fucking tires because the tires were too loud we could have been caught fucking house y'all but literally we got in trouble for being which i feel like these cookies look very familiar i feel like this is probably the most like recognizable mexican cookie it's just a classic pink little cookie. But it doesn't taste like anything, which is why I don't really care for it. That cop pulled the fuck up. My stomach literally dropped to my ass. Like when I say my stomach, it was one of the most like, serious things of my life. Because at the time, my parents had no clue out that late. 
let alone that I stole their fucking car. Benzo was literally sitting next to me telling me to fucking drive. He was like, drive, just fucking drive, just drive, like just fucking drive, bitch. And obviously I couldn't drive. Because, like, if there's a cop right there, obviously you have to fucking, like, be like, oh, hey, what's up? So the cop comes up to us and asks me for my ID. You know, we didn't have, like, any, like, license or registration. They asked us whose car it was. And, I, of course, I had to step up and be like, it's mine. They put me in fucking handcuffs. And they put me in the back of the cop car and then called my parents and waited for them to get there. Literally two months after I ran up that curb, the car, since it was a BMW, it started having like problems because BMWs are very like softly built cars. They're just like luxury cars, so like it's kind of like... <laughs> my parents literally fucking grounded me. They took away my phone and they were like, you can't have it. <laughs> but bitch, you know I got that trap phone though. Trash dweller woes. Soon after that, they called Benzo's mom to come pick him up. They tried calling Danny's parents. Lucky for him, they didn't answer. So they drove him home, and his parents never found him. Yeah, that's what happened. Anyways, y'all, so much for watching. I highly, highly, highly appreciate it. It means a lot, and it would mean even more if you would smash that motherfucking like button, bitch. Follow me on all my social media. Of course, they're going to be linked below. And be sure to subscribe for more of me and my life and how I live and how I do things. Thanks so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next motherfucking video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias. <coughs> Literally, they lit.